Hey everyone, this is KD0FNR. I um, wanted to give you a brief walkthrough, because I don't think I ever have before, the entire Project Toucan's uh, control panel um, as it stands right now. And what I'm doing is showing this to you on a cell phone. And so you can see we've got a banner. Um, and let me walk you through the debug tools first. Um, so over here we have um, the Utah Software Defined Radio. And that is so we can watch um, different signals, or mostly our signal, um, to see if it's working at all first. And then after that, we watch for other signals in the band if the band is crowded um, to see if it's somebody that's talking to us or somebody's talking to another uh, nearby parks on the air station or what have you. Um, because the two, Project Toucans has a really wide front end. Um, sometimes I also use the, uh, the SDR package um, uh, panel here, sorry. Um, if I don't have an external speaker running and I want people on livecast to be able to hear the rig, so then I can hit Chrome Audio Start. And we should be able to hear that person. Here we go. Um, and so, but, but anyway, I always decode the Morse code through my headphones because POTA rules. Um, so that's what that panel's for. Uh, the reverse beacon network panel is so that we can see where the rig is getting spotted or if the rig is getting spotted. And so if I change this to days, uh, what we will see is spots on KD0 FNR over the last 30 days. Um, when we're in a POTA, it's a little more interesting because it's a little more immediate, but that's what that panel is for. Um, we have station set up. The uh, rig is on is on Project Toucans, which is, I mean, sorry, the uh, panel controls Project Toucans. Um, and so it has a Pico W on it, and it uses Wi-Fi, and it hooks into the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot on the phone. And so we have to specify the address. We can turn the rig on or off. Um, and then we have some fill-in boxes for doing POT automating POTAs. Um, then we can do a custom set up, a custom message. Um, so we can say CQ, slow and fast, turn the uh, Morse code speed on the rig's gear up and down. And then down here, we can specify the call sign we heard on a PO, POTA, start POTA, and it will send out a standardized POTA message with uh, the good afternoon, good morning stuff already figured out. Um, and then we can say what we received. We is I and KO6 BTY. Um, and then when we hit in the log, it ends and makes a log for us in that box. So that is the control panel, everybody. I'm about to hit my time limit. So 72s from KD0 FNR.